Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the topic degree of freedom. Now, the basic concept is like when a gas molecule acquires energy or it is given some energy from some external source. Now, the molecule will try to spend the energy in some independent ways. Now, the number of independent ways in which the system can spend its energy is known as degree of freedom. Now. The question may arise: Why, why the molecules is spending the energy? See, anything in this universe always try to stay in a state of minimum energy. So, if this molecule is given some energy, it will spend the energy and try to acquire the state of minimum energy. So, that is the concept of degree of freedom. These are the two standard ways in which degree of freedom it is defined. First is total number of independent ways in which its molecule can store energy. Or it can also be defined as the number of independent coordinates required to specify the dynamical state of the system. Now, degree of freedom can be partitioned into three types: translational degree of freedom, rotational degree of freedom, vibrational degree of freedom. Translational degree of freedom due to translational translatory motion, rotational degree of freedom due to rotational motion, and vibrational degree of freedom due to vibratory motion. Now let us see the case of a monoatomic gas. Monoatomic gas molecules. Okay. Now, a single atom it can translate either along x-axis or along y-axis or along z-axis. So, corresponding to translation, corresponding to translation, there are three degrees of freedom. Okay, now what about rotation? Now, see, if I assume that this to be a solid sphere, then the rotational kinetic energy, the rotational kinetic energy, it is half i omega square. Okay, now if I assume this to be a solid sphere, this will be two by five m r square, where m is the mass and r is the Radius. Now, as you can see, for a single atom, this r will be very small. So, r square will be further very small. So that means this rotational kinetic energy can be neglected. So there is no degree of freedom due to rotation. Okay. Now, again, for vibration, for single atom, vibration in a particular direction corresponds to translatory motion in that particular direction. So that we have already counted. So a monoatomic gas molecule. Will can have only three degrees of freedom due to translation. Okay, so F is equal to three. Degree of freedom is equal to three for monoatomic gas molecule. Okay. Now let's see for diatomic gas molecule. Diatomic gas molecule. Now this is a diatomic molecule. Suppose. Now again. Corresponding to translation, this molecule it can translate along x-axis, it can translate along y-axis, it can translate also along. This molecule can go along this direction or the, along this direction or along this direction. So corresponding to translation, again three degrees of freedom. Okay. Now, if we see the rotation, see for this particular molecule, if it rotates along this axis. Okay, so in the rotation kinetic energy expression, there will be a term r square term. Okay, so that r will be this. Okay, so so this rotation, this is one along this axis. Now similarly, if I take this axis, again, you will have one degree of freedom due to rotation. But if I take this axis. See, if I take this axis, the distance is from this particular point to this particular point. Okay. Similarly, if I take this axis, the distance of this, the value of this r is from this particular point to this particular point. But if I take the axis along the atoms, in the axis in which the atoms are placed, now this r is almost zero. So that means this axis, rotational kinetic energy due to this axis can be neglected. So. That means we have rotation kinetic energy about two axes. So corresponding to rotation, 
corresponding to rotation you will have two additional degrees of freedom okay at two additional degrees of freedom now what happens at high temperature now so uh, at low normal temperature translation three degrees of freedom rotation two degrees of freedom so total five degrees of freedom now what happens at high temperature at high temperature at high temperature as i told you this third degree of freedom which is the vibration degree of freedom which arises at high temperature now at this vibrational degree of freedom it it arises due to two types of energy vibrational vibrational potential energy and vibrational vibrational kinetic energy vibrational potential energy vibrational kinetic energy so for each degree of freedom is one okay so that means at high temperature this diatomic gas molecule will have additional two degrees of freedom one degree of freedom corresponding to vibrational potential energy the other degree of freedom corresponding to vibrational kinetic energy so additional two degrees of freedom so at high temperature we will have total 5 plus 2 that gives 7 so 7 degrees of freedom at high temperature 5 degrees of freedom at normal temperature for diatomic gas now next let's see the triatomic gas molecule we will see the two cases the linear triatomic molecule and the non-linear triatomic molecule now for linear uh, the structure is let's say we have carbon dioxide so C so this is the structure for carbon dioxide linear molecule now in this linear carbon dioxide molecule uh, you will have translation for translation you will have three degrees of freedom for rotation again this rotation along this axis it will be neglected so you'll have rotation about this axis and rotation about this axis two mutually perpendicular axis so for rotation you'll have additional two degrees of freedom so totally you'll have five degrees of freedom now at higher temperature again vibrational potential energy one degree of freedom another vibrational kinetic energy another one degree of freedom so two additional degrees of freedom so at higher temperature you will have seven degrees of freedom now for non-linear molecule as in say water molecule so you have h2o so now in this case for translation you will have three degrees of freedom see in this case rotation in all the three axes you cannot neglect the rotation about any of the axis so one degree of rotation due to rotation about this axis about this axis and about this axis so rotation you will have additional three degrees of freedom so totally you have six degrees of freedom at normal temperature at higher temperature additional two degrees of freedom one due to vibrational kinetic energy another due to vibrational potential energy so that comes to be six plus two so at higher temperature you have additional so totally you have eight degrees of freedom not additional additional two degrees of freedom so total eight degrees of freedom at higher temperature so this is the basic concept of degree of freedom and degree of freedom we have evaluated the degree of freedom of diatomic gas molecule uh, monoatomic gas molecule as well as triatomic gas molecule